Do you remember the BP oil spill? What we think of as the BP oil spill. Remember that a company called Transocean was actually operating that rig when the big blowout happened that caused the spill. You know, Transocean put out their final official report on what happened in that disaster this past week. And wouldn't you know it, when Transocean looked into Transocean's liability in that disaster, Transocean concluded that it was not Transocean's fault. They blame BP for all of it. But one of the incredible things we all learned about Transocean during that whole disaster was that despite being called Transocean, despite being an offshore drilling company, meaning offshore as in the ocean, Transocean is headquartered in a country that is landlocked. In 2008, Transocean moved their office headquarters to this office park in landlocked Switzerland. They moved to a place called Zug in order to avoid taxes and regulations. But I submit to you tonight, that even weirder than a company called Transocean being headquartered in a landlocked country is the story reported by Reuters this week of the more than 2,000 companies that are headquartered at this single family home in Cheyenne, Wyoming. When we found out about Zug, you may recall we put Kent Jones in Lederhosen with one of those big trumpety things that lays on the ground. Uh, turns out now there is a Zug in Wyoming too, poor Kent. Um, eventually we will do a story about a creepy corporate tax haven where the native dress is more flattering to Kent. But, but this is the house. Uh, this is the headquarters of more than 2,000 American companies, none of which are actually physically located at this place. From all appearances, there is exactly one person who works at this headquarters of 2,000 companies. Uh, she seems very nice, actually, from the Reuters reporting. We know that her name is Rhoda. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. The Reuters investigative report on this building, which is called Wyoming Corporate Services, this week describes no apparent physical activity at this corporate headquarters for 2,000 companies other than the mail carrier arriving every day and Rhoda herself going outside every once in a while for smoke breaks. Why would a company want to be headquartered here? Why would a co company want to be headquartered in one of these tiny, frail-looking cardboard shelves over Rhoda's head in this house in Wyoming. What is the advantage to 2,000 companies being headquartered there? Here's their pitch. It may surprise you to know that studies show Wyoming to be the most business-friendly, lowest tax state of all 50 states. That's right. According to a consecutive year review by the Tax Foundation State Business Tax Climate Index, Wyoming has the most business-friendly tax system of any other state. And that's just the beginning. Wyoming Corporate Services, Inc. has been in business in Cheyenne, Wyoming for many years. We specialize in helping you incorporate in Wyoming, a state that has no income taxes on corporations. Wyoming Corporate Services also has strategies to help you lower your tax liability in your home state, increase your asset protection, and give you back your privacy. Strategies to help you lower your tax liability in your home state, and of course you'll pay none here. Who could resist? Who wouldn't want to live in a rickety mailbox in Cheyenne with Rhoda? Look at what they're offering. This is what they are pitching. A corporation is a legal person created by state statute that can be used as a fall guy, a servant, a good friend, or a decoy, a person you control yet cannot be held accountable for its actions. Imagine the possibilities. They actually say that, imagine the possibilities. Uh, Reuters reports that the proprietors of these companies that have imagined the possibilities, the possibilities of these companies that live only in the little rickety mailboxes over Rhoda's heads, the, head, the, 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 the proprietors of these companies include a, a former prime minister of Ukraine who is using one of these companies in the little box over Rhoda's head in Wyoming. He's using one of these companies to hide his real estate investments while he is in prison for corruption. Also, the owner of two firms accused of selling counterfeit truck parts to the United States military. Also, an alleged internet, credit card, telemarketing, online gambling, and pharmacy scam king. Offering corporations an existence in a box is legal. And Wyoming is not the only state that does it. Nevada is also a haven for what they call incorporation mills, for companies whose business is not all that clear. Delaware quite famously operates in this sort of way too. Why do you think every credit card company in the world basically is headquartered in Delaware? This is essentially the landscape now of corporate tax loophole palooza. 
President Obama in his campaign for president in 2008. And Democrats, broadly speaking that year, made the case to voters that offshore tax havens were a moral and a fiscal outrage that should be shut down. You've got a building in the Cayman Islands that supposedly houses uh, 12,000 corporations. That's either the biggest building or the biggest tax scam I on record. But it's not just the Cayman Islands. It's not just offshore. It is here, too, in the United States.